Yeah, call me paranoid, but I don't quite trust things when they freeze up, especially trying to keep the sink of everything. So we'll go back to her yapping our ear off again. A bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. Sweet. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just, I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark, to be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually, just not quite yet. Cool. I guess you mean Jackson. He speaks the word of enlightenment at us, but he ain't fit to lead a song, much less this bunch of morons. I've been meaning to talk to him about this place, but he's off doing his meditation thing. Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much I thought joining would be all drugs and magic, but it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. Sure, fine. Why not? I'm planning on ditching this place anyway. If you're about to cause trouble with Jackson, all the more reason. His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. When you find that old idiot, tell him thanks for all the punk I could steal. You're a lucky one, and it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now hold still, and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. Cool. Awesome. Sea cave key added, as well as a map marker. So, yeah, my scar's been removed. So, we'll just go see if we can find Jackson in his little hidey hole. Yeah, thanks, be at peace. Alright, so where are we going here? All the way down to the Calvert Mansion? That's why why are we going there? I thought we had to go to I think it wants us to go there. I guess we have to go tell uh Peace. Tell what's his name? The ghoul. We have to go tell him what we've learned. And then I think he gets pissed and he's like, Why did you come here first? You should have just went there, blah blah blah. If I remember correctly, it's something that goes like that. Till then, we'll enjoy this awesome loading screen. And all that fun shit. I wish I had a mansion like this. Just with better upkeep, you know? Not as... Not as Wrigley Field looking and... Kinda crappy. Wish I had a giant house I didn't have to pay for. That'd be sweet. Someone else buys it for me. One of my... Rich friends that I don't have. That'd be pretty spectacular, I think. Alright, where is he at? Is he upstairs? Is he downstairs? Where's he going? See, oh, there he is, right there. What the hell was I kicking? Like a 2 by 4 That's weird. Alright, Desmond. You infiltrated those tribals yet? And you didn't go track him down and grill him for information? I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. Yep. That's pretty much what I thought he would say. Something along the lines of what I explained before. And a uh, hunting rifle. Sweet. I'll take that. Repair it as we go. He's not a very friendly one, Desmond. Kind of wonder why he has any dogs. If I was a dog, I wouldn't be too happy with him. So now we have to travel back to this place and then go to the wrecked sea thing and go in and do stuff and, you know, typical, typical stuff. Typical stuff that we gotta do. That has to get done. I think we'll run into some ghouls along the way. I don't know how far we're gonna get. I was only planning on recording about an extra ten minutes. Not counting... Well, I mean counting the, uh... The four or five minutes that have already passed. Yeah, we're at like five minutes right now, I believe. Unless I somehow splice stuff together. whatnot. 
Pretty sure some ghouls are just chilling in the cemetery. I don't even know if you can go. Ah! Aw. Uh oh. I know there are some ghouls around here. Come on, ghouls. Uh oh. The damn glowing one. That didn't go so well, did it? Didn't go as well as one would hope, you know. That went that went a little better, man. Really exploded into some gooey substance. You know, you really don't have to fight them, but they come out running your way anyway. Kinda sucks. Just fire into the group of them. I actually killed one. Sweet. Let's go for the head. Wow, really? I had I had one bullet. Sweet. That was about as anticlimactic as you could get. Okay, well I guess we're switching to a different weapon then, aren't we? Assault rifle. Well, we're out of that. Baseball bat. That's never mind. Combat shotgun. That could work, you know. Combat shotgun's pretty, pretty sweet. Sit down. Now right, let's try bats again. Wow. Yeah, he he definitely got dismembered. That was. That was about as badass as you could get. That was about as much blow up as I could could have ever hoped for. That was pretty sweet. I think finding this thing's a pain in the ass too. I remember last time I was looking around for this thing for some time. I was looking around for something for some time. I can't remember if it was what it was. Actually, I'm gonna save here just in case I do fall to my death. I'm definitely gonna save here and hopefully not die up. Uh, yep, I died. Maybe if I run and jump. Actually, we can we can save some time just doing this. Maybe I should run and I really don't feel like hobbling my way down this cliff. So, I mean, do you really blame me? See if see if we can jump. Jump into the water. J Ouch. No, that didn't work either. There's got to be somewhere up here that I can just uh whoops that I can just jump off of and be fine. Maybe if I go a little bit to the left, that looks looks like it might be better. Ah, this this could be this could be good. This could be great. Uh oh, 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 I'm gonna hit a rock. Ouch. Alright, I I don't think that would have worked anyway. Uh damn it. This'll be funny. I'm probably going to waste more time trying to find a faster way down there than I would have if I would have just sucked it up and Oh, see this this I could have just done this the whole time. I also think there's a glitch where you can save right before you hit and he doesn't die. Oh. This could be this could be troublesome. Let's just try and slide our way down. What the hell enemy is there? I think I need to get on this ship. Uh ouch. Oh. This is why I stole all that punga fruit, remember? This is definitely why I stole all that punga fruit. Good as new. Probably some Meyer lurks chilling out around here somewhere. Alright, never mind, this was not the hard to find thing that I needed to find. I think it was that arena type thing that goes on here. Oh well. We're here now. I don't know if there's just a straight shot to him or if you have to fight a bunch of Meyer lurks to get. Yeah, there's definitely Meyer lurks down there. And not sure if we can avoid them. Do I want to avoid them? Not sure. Kind of, yeah. I really don't want to fight Meyer Lurks all day. It's like you have Meyer Lurk egg sacks just kind of hanging around everywhere. Huh. This one, this one better than expected. Didn't have to fight a whole bunch of Meyer Lurks and Swamp Lurks or whatever the hell they're called. And there's, uh, there's our boy now. Hmm. Looks like mom. At last, yes! Desmond will die, and our long struggle will finally end the only way it could have, with me as the victor! Yes, and you will be able to spread your knowledge across the ash. So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here? Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then, perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. He thinks I'm some sort of god, and I have no reason to disabuse him of the notion this makes me de facto leader of the tribe, as it were. Regardless, I trust you can be more effective than he has been. I need your help on an important task. There's a troublesome ghoul who lives 
Susan Calvert mansion. I need him destroyed and his jamming device neutralized immediately. Excellent. I cannot tell you how satisfying it is to find a suitable assistant after all these years. Now, the ghoul is a pain and they require disposal, but Desmond is only of secondary importance. The real target is a device in his possession. He has a jammer which limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that and I can extend my reach so much further. Yes, away with you. For all the okay, wise. don't know what he's doing, but anyway, next time we'll deal with Jackson and uh, continue on the DLC, figure out what we're going to do.